hey guys welcome back to the channel kiki here so i know i've been away for a while but we'll talk about that another time <laughs> so today or tonight i wanted to do a quick video i'm gonna talk about friends and people and trust in general so actually eating some popeyes before i got to bed um i just really wanted some chicken and i have my bottle of heinz ketchup <laughs> to eat with it that it was confirmed um, that DMX passed. If you don't know who DMX is, just Google who DMX is. So it's also the day that the um, volcano in St. Vincent and the Grenadines erupted last I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll put some images there. I also want to talk a little bit about um, this girl that was killed in Jamaica. Um, her name was Canis. So I'm still connected with a lot of um, things in Jamaica as it relates to news and stuff. So the first thing about dmx the, the only thing about dmx that i would that i want to talk about is this video i'm going to try to find the video and um insert it somewhere with a with a link to it but he was basically talking about um ooh, his intro to to drugs right And he was basically saying that there was this man, an older man, who he looked up to as his big brother. And this man basically gave him a spliff. And he said he was so high. He was said it was the highest he'd ever been, and it was one of the greatest feelings he he ever experienced, greatest experiences he ever had. And he found out later that the the friend, the brother, the person who he looked up to, had actually there was coke in this in this in this spliff. We would call it Jamaicans would call it seasoned spliff. So he thought he was just smoking weed, but it was laced with coke. And when I saw that video this week on, on Twitter, because I'm always on Twitter, but I'm thinking like how unfair, how 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 unfair can you be to know the effects of something? Even if you personally you're able to cope with um drugs any kind of drugs whatever why would you infringe upon someone so i don't know he's saying that um because look he has passed now because of an overdose and people are saying oh i thought he was clean but the thing with over with with drugs is that after you get clean um after you get clean sometimes when you go back into it you take so much because you're used to taking that amount and you basically shock your system you don't realize that your your tolerance is no no longer at that level um the level that you left it at when you decided you weren't gonna take the substance anymore but when I saw that video, I was just like, well, I didn't even watch all of it. Um, it was heartbreaking because, and even him, it took a while for him to say the full sentence, but something as simple as a spliff that people, men, people, women, in a social gathering or setting, 
pass the blunt. You're not expecting that someone. Oh God, I messed up my carpet with the ketchup. <clears throat> You're not expecting that someone you look up to would deny you the choice to say no to something like that. Something that, you know, basically change your life forever, right? And that can happen to anybody because that's how people lace people's drinks. You take a drink from someone who you think you know, someone who you think is your friend, not knowing that there's something in it that could kill you, something that could get you high, something that could cut, I don't know, anything, whether date rape, whether whatever it is. I just think when I saw that video, I'm gonna say, oh, oh my god, that is so wicked. Because who knows? She probably she probably never intended to ever do drugs ever. It was wicked. So the next thing is about this um young lady who was murdered on her way to work by a neighbor who would usually give her a right to work or uh, being a woman in jamaica is hard you can't go anywhere without a man hitting on your in sometimes some of the most aggressive ways intimidating ways ever so i used to carpool to work i used to walk to someone's house and they used to tell me give me a ride to work because they were going that way so it's not it's not um strange that she would opt to go with her neighbor or someone who lives in her community as opposed to taking a coaster or taking one of the private taxis to go to work and the news was saying that he lured her to his house um, basically told her because he's a mechanic he basically told her that he um he left a tool at home and that could easily be anybody that could be anybody i see stories on um online all the time about how people get lured into dangerous situations by people that they, they trust people that people that that don't that wouldn't think would hurt them in any way and all i can think of is oh my god people are so wicked people are so wicked you hear all the time how um, people always tell you, you know, sometimes, you know, watch your back and watch the people around you and so on. And this is real talk because you never know what people's ulterior motives are. You don't know people will, you will wear, you'll wear a white tee and the person don't like you because you have on a white tea you'll be happy because you're happy because you're genuinely happy and people don't people don't want to see you happy you'll be going about your business and someone will decide that hey or a man i should say god forbid a man will decide that hey i want her and I want her forcefully. I'm not gonna give her the option to have fun with me. I'm gonna take it. Like, I 
Like you can never be too careful because I don't know. People just wicked. People just wicked. And those two instances, both the DMX thing and the Kanye's thing. They were done by um they were done by the incidents were done by people who they trusted you know you let down your guard because you're not thinking that my neighbor is going to hurt me my neighbor that takes me to work sometimes is gonna hurt me you're not thinking that my friend somebody i look up to as a big brother is going to put something in the spliff that he's given me to smoke when we're hanging out you know I watch a lot of um criminal stuff online and I found a story about I found two instances actually a, two stories about a man so this is man in London or England somewhere over there I'll try to find that video as well and I'll put the link below he basically was going around sleeping with men he found them on this dating site i believe and he was knowingly infecting them with aids some of them got lucky and they didn't get it some did but they hooked up they got they got together however i go and he was removing the condom and slipping it on before they noticed. He's in prison now. But then um, there's this other s story about this girl who just turned 20 and found out that she was HIV positive when she was pregnant. And she was with this her husband she was married to this man who knew he was hiv positive or whatever and he never tell her never tell her knowing and in both cases they both knew that they could take meds that would make them undetectable or make it safe for them to have unprotected sex i'm not sure how it works but listen people are wicked and why am i don't know i don't know but all i can say is you can never be too careful. I, it might sound a way when you say don't trust people. And sometimes you say people and they don't they don't let their guard down. They, they might seem kind of standoffish. You can't really wrong them because you just never know who to trust. You don't know who to leave your kids with. You don't know who to, to go out with. You don't know who not to go out with. Just have to be careful. One thing I'd suggest is always tell people tell somebody where you're going. That's let at least one person know. Hey, I'm going to this place. I'm meeting this person. Or let's say you're dating a guy. Maybe you don't want your family to know. Maybe you don't want your family to meet them yet. Friend, best friend, sister, whoever. I'm dating this guy. I'm going out with this guy. I should be home by X time. Hmm? Tell people things. Um, 
iPhones have this feature where you press. I don't know what you. I don't remember what you press. No, when you press it a couple times, it sends a SOS to your family or whoever you put as the emergency contact. Samsung has it too, I believe. It's a good feature to have. Um, but yeah, keep your guard up. Right now in Jamaica, a lot of people going missing. Well, I wouldn't say right now. People been going missing a long time. Which is just... I guess now with social media and the world standing still, now is when we realize how many people, how many women are going missing, how many women are brutalized and attacked and raped and all kind of stuff. But it been a gone. Um, the last thing I wanted to touch on is St. Vincent and the Grenadines. someone said I had a population of 110,000 and I cannot imagine having to leave what I call home because of an earthquake that's scary you know you don't know if you're gonna see home again. You don't know if you're gonna see your friends again. You just don't know. Your home, your livelihood, your pets. I don't know. I'm guessing people own homes. How do you leave your home? I was thinking about like god forbid if we had a, a volcano about to erupt and we had like just a few hours to pack what the hell would i pack what would i pack and it's easy to say things can be replaced but there are things that have sentimental value things that you work so hard for only for it to just to go just like that you know I'm looking around um the first thing to note is that we're in a pandemic so it's not like even if they had the money to go overseas it's not like they can easily go overseas because the u.s i think the u.s is restricting travel i believe or i thought well i don't know what the u.s is i guess if they have visas and they can afford to go to the u.s then they can fly over maybe stay with family and friends and how it go I know people are being evacuated but we're in a pandemic it's so hard already everybody every country island whoever is trying to get the covid levels under control and then to have to to have to accommodate people from another country to keep them safe to help them get settled that's just it's just hard. I would be so traumatized. I'd be so like the place you call home, the school that you attended, the feeling you used to play on, you know. Mm. That must be so hard. I really feel it for them, trust me. I guess I would take maybe. my important documents and some toiletries 
one thing is apparently there's a video of this woman who said that who was reluctant to evacuate I feel like chicken gone in a cold. this woman who was reluctant to evacuate because um for fear of her or her daughter being attacked or raped in a in a what do you call them in a shelter like how do you consider not evacuate okay chicken in my clothes or not oh in my clothes how do you consider not evacuating an island that will be covered or might be covered in lava within a couple hours for fear of like the things that women have to think about a man can just go you know we have to think about excuse me we have to think about the different toilet toiletries that we'll need we have to we have to consider the fact that there are predators in a lot of these places that women are supposed to be getting assistance and 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 support and safety like i don't know i don't i hope that lady i don't know it's more than like they're gonna have to go in 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 some kind of shelter that maybe maybe a school i don't know for hurricanes they usually go on a, go to a school camp out at a school or old building or something and it's not a, it's not a hotel it's not a vacation it's not a it's not a good experience usually it's not it's just so sad so apart from the the the, the toiletries and so that you'll need apart from safekeeping your documents you have to think about your personal safety can you imagine having to consider your, you and your daughter's personal safety? I mean, I know. Anyways, this is where I close the video. These are just my late night thoughts <laughs> while I eat. Um, share your views down below. Tell me what you think about the DMX thing. Um, what do you think about the Canis Jackson thing for those in Jamaica who would have more knowledge about it and send purse up for St. Vincent and the Grenadines last soup hey Alexa what's the name of the volcano in St. Vincent La Soufflier. That's what Alexa said. Yeah. So. Share your thoughts. Remember to watch, like, share, subscribe. Oh, wait. One thing I forget. Guys, we're on lockdown. We're on lockdown. Like, or premiere has banned big, big box stores from selling non-essential items now i'm gonna put a clip of some things that i've been seeing online <laughs> listen i i just some things that i've been seeing online like tupperware is not essential we mean it's not essential <laughs> But the annoying thing about it is what you consider essential is not essential to me. And I, I feel like they are just so... I don't know what the government is doing. Canada has fallen behind on the COVID spectrum. COVID 
the whatever you call it so right now i don't want to be in canada right now i want to be in jamaica eating kfc like right now and then come back to canada <laughs> anyways bye <laughs>